I'm Rachel K. Collier. I'm an electronic producer and performer from Wales in the UK. And I have teamed up with Guitar Centre to take part in their Why We Make Music campaign. Now, obviously, that is a huge question, but for me, it's all about transporting to another planet where I can do whatever I want. I'm also super inspired by the ever-evolving world of music technology, and I get a massive kick out of helping others unlock their creativity. It can be super fun making music today, as we have loads of affordable tools and educational content at our disposal, but we can still hit these huge, painful creative roadblocks. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna give you five fun creative production tips that will hopefully help you along the way and get rid of all those frustrating moments in the studio. Let's get into it. Starting a tune can be one of the hardest parts. You keep using the same chord sequences. All your beats feel boring. It's really easy for it all to feel a bit stale. Now what you can do is load in some pre-made keys or drum loops from somewhere like Splice. But what I like to do is choose a cool sample with a pitch. I'll use only a tiny part of it, loop it up, add some effects, and then this gives me a reference point which I can build my chords and beat around. And more importantly, gives me some instant unique vibe. This little trick can help you break out of your usual habits and end up somewhere new, even if you end up muting the whole sample later on. So you've got something good going on and you're wanting to beef up your track with some extra textures and sounds, but you get stuck scrolling through hundreds of nap presets. <laughs> One of my favourite things to do to keep the vibe alive is to record any old nonsense into your DAW of choice. This could be your voice. Woo! Let's do it! Hey! <laughs> or any household objects that you think might sound interesting. Once you've recorded them, throw them into your sampler of choice Now you guys might think I'm crazy, but you'll be surprised on what funky sounds you can come up with with this method. In this track, Wavy Cat, I made a whole load of percussion out of a pestle and mortar and a toy fire engine. start arranging your idea, transitions are essential for breaking up the flow of your track and are never to be underestimated. We can go in and load in pre-made risers, lifters, downlifters from the internet. But if you want something more original and authentic, try out this little trick. Locate a sound in your track that you can drown out with reverb. Resample it, then reverse it. And boom, there you have it, your own super fresh riser. This is from a fun track I made with all Ableton stock plugins from my recent Ableton class. <laughs> this little technique with synth sounds, vocal sounds, even drum sounds to make some sick little impacts. So you're 75% there now guys, but you, you're stuck. You need that extra bit of flavor to finish off your tracks. Now something I like to do is break all the rules and go crazy automating master FX. So if we jump back into my wavy cat beat here guys, you can see I've got a whole row of master effects here that I've been experimenting with. 
So firstly, check out the auto filter. This is so cool and fun to throw on. And I've just automated the frequencies so you just get this really cool little like high pass effect here. Yeah. You can do this with loads of different plugins as well. I've got a little Sound Toys crystallizer on there where I've automated the mix up and down in sections to give it a bit of stereo whip. I've also got this cool effect called Effectrix on it. Sounds really cool, got a funky vinyl stop. Check this out. Whoa. Also got the auto pan here, making it go whoop, 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 between our left and right ears. I definitely recommend throwing in some master effects to spice up your productions. This final tip is actually more of a psychological one. We can spend hours working away on our tracks, adding all of these technical tips, but there comes a time when we actually need to stop. We can keep refining, tweaking EQs, adjusting automations by half a dB. We can keep going indefinitely. It's really important, guys, that you get your tunes exported so you can play them to some mates and get some feedback so you can grow as a music producer. I mean, check out this beat of mine from 2014 called Rub My Head. Now, I think it sounds terrible, but if I hadn't started this process of finishing and releasing tunes, then I wouldn't be where I am today. So we'd love to hear your finished tracks upload a video and use the hashtag why we make music to join the conversation and also let us know why you make music. Guitar Centre will be following along and highlighting their favourites. I hope those tips were helpful guys. I'm Rachel K. Collier. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.